guys, happy Friday. I am back from all my travels to Africa and London and to Rome and I am so excited to be back in the kitchen. Today I am starting a new 30 day carnivore month, June 7th for 30 days, zero carb, just carnivore and I am making some beef short ribs today in my slow cooker. I am going to be browning them up here on my cast iron grill pan and I'm gonna be cooking them for about eight hours in some rich beef bone broth and uh, they are gonna be fall off the bone delicious. So, all right, so I've got these short ribs here. I'm gonna take them out. I've got my beef bone broth. I've got the cast iron grill pan ready and my slow cooker and I'm gonna put the beef bone broth in the slow cooker with some spices and I'm gonna brown the ribs for a few minutes just on the grill pan here first to get some of that browning in. I put some coconut oil just to grease the pan here and in my slow cooker I'm gonna pour in that amazing collagen rich bone broth to have it ready and I'm going to add some spices to it and start off by just browning the ribs here. So I've just seasoned them with a bit of salt and pepper and I'm going to put them right here on my grill pan just to brown them up a bit before I am um, to the slow cooker. It just takes about three, four minutes to get a bit of browning in there. So while those are cooking, I just added in a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, and some paprika. This is a Hungarian paprika, and some salt and pepper. You don't have to add those in, but I know my husband loves paprika, so I'm just gonna turn these over, just getting that nice color. You can see some nice browning on there. And it's looking great. I also added in some cinnamon, which is kind of counterintuitive, but it's one of those amazing spices that really goes well with beef. And I love to add it in when I make brisket in here too. So I'm now going to take the brown ribs, you can see they got some great color, and I'm going to add them in to the slow cooker. And I started off on the two setting for the first hour, and then I will turn it down to low or one for the other hour. So it's about eight hours in total, seven hours on the one and the first hour. I'll post the full recipe in my Instagram if you wanna get it and save it. But for now, the ribs are in there nicely in the bone broth and spices. And I'm gonna cover that up. And it's gonna go on setting number two for the first hour. And then I will put it down to the low setting for about six to seven hours after that, depending on sort of when we get hungry for dinner, but they should be ready after about eight hours on either setting. Anyway, back to the ribs over here. I'm gonna check on these bad boys. Okay, so they are cooking away. It smells amazing in here. And my husband is not keto. He is lower carb, so I'm okay with that. Um, you know, he's got his own journey, but I've made these lower carb little tortillas for him, and I serve this with usually some avocado and some baked beans. And that that is just where he's at, and I'm okay with that. I don't need him to be keto. Um, I'm just meeting him where he is, and you know, some of us have families that are not keto and you just gotta be able to make it work and you gotta not push people and just like do you and people will come to you and say like, how can I learn more? So much more powerful when someone comes to you and says like, 
you look awesome i love your energy levels by the way i'm feeling super energized and i have not had a cup of coffee at all yet today and it is 2 p.m here and i am bursting with energy i just wanted to um slip that in there but people will come to you and be like i love what you're all about i love what you're doing you look great i love your energy i love how joyful and like how happy you seem um and they'll be so much more responsive at that point when they're interested in it as opposed to just being like you need to do keto you need to do this like my husband he's on his own journey and i don't mind making things for him that i know will be more satisfying for him um and he's getting there like he's gone from super high carb to lower carb and i'm so proud of him for doing that so i just accommodate and make things and like if you try to push people to do what you're doing like it does not work it's just such a waste of energy and the same goes with interacting with people online or coworkers or things like you don't need to justify what you're doing just do what you're doing do you and people will see the results and they'll see your calmness they'll see your peacefulness they'll see your happiness they'll see your body composition changing they'll see you thriving and that's when you know you really get an opening with people to share stuff as opposed to trying to defend what you're doing or like explain it to them or they're battling with you over fruit juice and stuff and you're just like you know what like this is just what i'm doing and just don't talk about it just do what you're doing and then when people are ready they come to you and ask and that's when you can share and they're open you know to learning about all of this stuff so be patient if people guys these short ribs that i've been cooking smell so amazing i wish i could like waft the scent the aroma through my ig to you guys it smells so so good and it's been cooking away here and the meat is just like perfect just falling off the bone pulled beef these ribs are going to be incredible for dinner store but you can do that too but this way it's all natural and it is super delicious i'll show you guys how the beef ribs are coming along and they are looking so so succulent and delicious perfectly cooked and i am like trying not to eat all this pate right now because my husband is going to be home soon and it my husband is going to be home soon if you'd like this pate recipe check out the video that i'll be putting on igtv you guys you know the ribs are ready and fall off the bone when they <laughs> literally just fall off the bone like there's just bones left in here that is amazing Slow cooking is so succulent and delicious, perfectly cooked and already that meat is just literally fallen off the bone. I'm gonna put it in here and serve it. It's such an easy, simple dinner so easy to make and delicious cut that sh beef short rib here and those low carb tortilla wraps I made for Pete looks delicious So now that we enjoyed those delicious ribs, I poured out all the beef bro bone broth back into here and I'm going to use it again. And I just covered the bones here with some cold. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. and Stay tuned for more delicious recipes I'll be posting here. And have a fat-fueled rest of your day.